What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen and this is my little brother Magnus and welcome to Gunung Leuset National Park. What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen. In today's episode I am in Meta North Sumatra and this is gonna be a special one because I haven't seen my little brother in eight months and today he's landing in Medan airport visiting Indonesia for the very first time. So in this episode we're gonna be traveling around together on motorcycles and let's see how it goes. Let's do it. I'm so excited to surprise Maunos because Maunos, he doesn't know that I've actually rented him a Royal Enfield Himalayan 500. And Maunos still thinks that he will be riding a small 150cc, so he's gonna be so stoked. Let's go pick him up. So Maunos has been flying from Denmark to Doha, from Doha to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur here to Medan and he called me when he was about to board the flight from Kuala Lumpur to Medan and then I asked him what are they saying on the radio shouldn't you check in now and he said no I don't know it seems like the kids are standing up now but over the radio they are saying Makandulu I said no they're not saying Makandulu they're saying Anagdulu <laughs> so hopefully I can teach him a bit of Indonesian when he gets here I had told Maunos a driver would just pick him up and bring him to the hotel, so I could surprise him at the airport. Big yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's finally here. Time to go to the hotel. Hey, dude. Hey, GoPro, take a video. <laughs> That's good. We then checked into the Khan Mercury Hotel in Medan and I equipped Maunus with his own GoPro he could use during our trip. Room tour! This is how it looks. I have to remember to speak English. I am told. It's called La Locum. <laughs> Good morning guys. So it is our first day of Maunus' vacation here. Now we're just having some breakfast here at the pool. And then in one or two hours, then we're gonna go and uh, pick up Maunus' motorcycle. And hopefully you'll like it. <laughs> what are you eating? I don't know. Salat. A lega? Uh, in a... Hey. Uh. Guys, we have arrived at Harley Davidson where they have been helping us with finding the bike. So, uh, yeah, that's why we're picking it up here today. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not one of those. <laughs> I think they're a bit too heavy. <laughs> Hello. Motor, do you want Motor? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go there. What bike did you think you were gonna get? Uh, the Honda CB150 X. <laughs> Let's go and sign the papers and get on the road. The price to rent the Royal Enfield was a whopping 950,000 per day. Yes, should buy it. Oh, it sounds good. Again? So it's been nearly impossible for me to find a proper motorcycle to rent here in Medan. But luckily, I found the Harley Davidson store here, the Sumatra Motor, and they helped me out. And we eventually find, found the Himalayan. And now, our adventure can begin. Let's go. With zero experience of riding a motorcycle in Indonesia, I was slightly worried about Maunus. But luckily we could use our intercoms and he got used to it pretty fast. All right. 
Alright guys, so we're just doing a quick refilling stop because Magnus' Royal Enfield is completely heavy. So we're putting on some Portamax and then we're gonna go to a place called Bebek Goreng because it's time for Magnus to try some real Indonesian food. I think they focus mo mostly on duck but we will have some a lot of gorengan. Lapar! You so good because I am starving. Well, you made it. Hello, guys. Nice. Okay, guys. We are here at Haslamet. We're gonna get some gorenga. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marlos is still a bit camera shy. He's still getting used to being filmed. So, uh, yeah. What about boy? Uh, yeah. Can you can you eat spicy food? Uh, in Denmark, I can. Yesterday we had food and it was spicy. So I was struggling. Dia makan satu cabai rawit and he was like, ah, ah, sama sama. We have some cucumber, we have some fried bebek, some fried duck, and then we have one sambal, two sambal, we'll see which one is more spicy. And ini is te manis. Is te manis. Yeah, it means cold iced tea. Ah, that's what it means, cold. <laughs> Cheers, is te manis. Toss. Toss. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. <laughs> In Denmark, we never eat with our hands. I think we're gonna start with the Bebek original because this has no chili, so we can taste the duck first. Test it. Make our way. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Cheers. Fuck this, man. Time to try the sambal. Ready? Yes. Yeah, chili sauce. It's all these levels of chicken. Yeah. Do you have a little rice? Sambal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's why. Enak, yeah? Enak. Not enak. 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 Chu chu enak. Bang. Time to try another Indonesian favorite. Bebek bakar. Hvad tror du, det er i forhold til at sukke sine fingre, når man spiser noget med andre? Det gør man bare. The best thing about this place is that the duck it's not dry at all. It's like really juicy and it's it's super tasty. <laughs> and when you're done eating, it's like a soup you can drink. No. <coughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> it's all hot. Yeah. Just a little bit of something. Just to make <laughs> Very spicy. Then we have orange and papaya juice, orange and coconut juice. Good, good. Switch. I I actually prefer this one. This is great. Last item on the menu, guys. This one is. Kind of like a fruit salad, I think. And Maunus is with uh, durian. The green one? Yeah, with mm -hmm. spikes. Then end up with the hotel, so it's been a long time, so it's been a long time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is not for me. This one tastes a lot like durian. You will need to love durian for this dessert, I think. Personally, I'm not a big fan of durian, so... <laughs> so, that was it. 
honestly, we had a fantastic meal here at Aha Salamed. How was it? Do I done? Only two stars. No, no. <laughs> How many stars? Lima. Lima. <laughs> Good dude. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna start touring. Alright guys, we are almost ready to get on the road. Mom is just packing some of the last stuff here that we're not gonna bring on the trip. We're gonna store that here in the hotel. And then we're gonna be on the road for five days. Maunus, are you excited about your first motorcycle trip? Yes. Alright guys, we are on the road. The plan is we're gonna be riding Subuki Lawang now. It's gonna take two hours and 19 minutes and 89 kilometers according to the gps i'm handing out a lot of pro tips eventually i think you will be tired of hearing it <laughs> so i don't do if you see an indonesia terrain i post i'll the same We are finally out of the city and the roads are getting a bit better now. We got 39 kilometers, around one hour left. It's been going rather smooth, but it is a seriously hot day on the road today. Maunus is doing a really good job. Really, really good job. Move. So uh, Christian was getting tired, so he needed a, a rest. Uh, so we stopped here, <laughs> inside the road. It's, uh, Palm leaves, what is it? Sawit. 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 Palm oil trees. It's beautiful. I like it. Ah, plams. Alright, guys, so we have met our guide here who's been waiting for us all day. We have now reached Bugil Lawang. And he will be escorting us to the place called Eco Lodge. Så tror jeg, vi skal ud og køre noget off a road for at komme ud til det der Eco Lodge. Normally, dude, when you're riding on something like this, you will be taking some air out of your tires. The current pressure in our tires is set for set for road, so that's why here it's gonna be a bit slippery. Hello, hello. Ja, hans dæktryk er nok også 15 psi. Vores de er 27,30. Her der kører du altså godt nok uh, forsigtigt dybt. Og nu skal vi også ind over bro. Det bliver grineren. One by one, ja. Yeah. Okay, chibat er farve. Blan, blan. Okay, okay. Her er det. Der skal du uh, køre nogenlunde stille og roligt. Altså, så længe. Du skal ikke køre sådan der. Fuck, det er svært, dyb. Ej, du er sindssygt, mig. Og jeg kan spå, dyb. For satan, det var ikke nemt. Giv den lidt fart, giv den lidt fart. Øj. Ej, du er sindssygt. Jeg var også ved at skide i bukserne, mand. Ah. <laughs> Ej, jeg var godt nok nervøs da, over, at du skulle over der. Ja, jeg så det godt. Det så godt nok. Øh. Fuck, det er nice der. Åh oh, ja, det er, jeg er glad for, at du lige sagde. Og en stor gren. Og en sten. Oi. Ah, du er sindssygt ud at tage på. Ja, ja. Fortsæt, fortsæt. Skal du hjælp? Ja. Okay. Ja, godnas. Åh, det er okay. Yes. Godt arbejde, dude. Så so nice. <laughs> Fuck, du sidder. Ja, det står godt. Yes, vi kører, dude. Åh, 
og kiktosegnet. Her ja, kører du bare stille og roligt. Godt arbejde, det jo. Jeg er stadig glad, det her. Hvad er det glad? Vi skal lige have dem heroppe og stå ind i mig. Se. Time to unpack and check out the room. Good job, dude. Jeg uh, skulle ikke regne med, at du ville klare den, men det klarede du altså. Lad ikke engang glæde! Hey, det er jo godt arbejde. Dude. First crash? First crash. We then checked into our jungle bungalow. It was a bit small, but basically had everything we needed. A European toilet, fans, and much needed mosquito nets. And it was then time for Makan Siang. All right, guys, we've now checked in. The room looks really nice. And now we've gone up to the Eco Lodge restaurant, the Eco restaurant. And it looks bloody good. We got some nasi goreng kampung. We got some soto medan. We got some timber goreng, satay, mi goreng. We tried to order as much as possible so that Maunus can get the full flavor of Indonesia. And what do you say? Looks good, dude. It's good. And they just told us that they use no palm oil products, they don't use MSG, so they're really trying to yeah, make a difference here. I like that. It's organic. It's organic, baby. From the farm, right over there. What's the verdict, dude? In Aksakali. Hey. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go to see the orangutans. Maunus hasn't seen those before in the wild. I haven't seen them, so hopefully we can find them. We went back to the room to chill a bit, but it sounded like someone was throwing rocks on our roof, and we quickly realized just why. <laughs> Gone. Are you going crazy? By night time, I realized that Magnus was not used to seeing rain like this in Denmark. This is great. Look at this, guys. This is seriously awesome. It is our first day here at the Eco Lodge. Morning, dude. Now we're gonna go up and get some breakfast. The plan is that we're gonna go out and see the orangutans today. Let's go get some breakfast. So, dude, how has the first 24 hours on the road been like? Nice to do off-roading. Nice to drive around, drive around on the motorcycle. Room is nice. Great nature. Monkeys outside our apartment. So it's great. Could you imagine living a life on the road like I do? Driving around, living in new places like this every day? No, I would settle down in one place, be there for two, three months, but one week, three days, two days, you don't get to breathe. Um, just relax, take it easy, you know? And it was then time for us to go and search for the orangutans. So, Maunus doesn't exactly have hiking equipment, so he has to wear his white sneakers Hello, and shorts, but hopefully it'll be all right. Okay. Coffee time? Uh, uh, hiking time. Hiking time. <laughs> hiking time yeah. And this yeah. is our guide for today, Idris. Hey, bro. Hi. How are you? Thank you, Idris. Hey, man. Uh, Mosquito Rupaland. Mosquitoes don't like bite you because of your tattoo there. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, she nice, don't nice, like. Nice they don't like to yeah. have a don't like tattoo. tattoo? Yeah, because... Ah, bagus. Yeah, that's true. Perfect. Selamat datang di Gunung Leuser National Park, Pukilawan. So the first part of the trip here, we're walking through a large rubber plantation. It's fun also because Manus hasn't seen this before. You can start harvesting these rubber trees after six years. And if you don't cut them too deep, you can keep doing that for a lot of years. The pricing now is around 
11,000 rupee per kilo when they sell it in the market but it used to be almost 20,000 rupee it must be tough for the Indonesian farmers I saw this on Facebook like a week ago mm -hmm. I was like ah crazy that looks nice now you've seen yeah. it in real yeah. life but after they collect it what do they do with it after they collect uh, from the cup to other cup they put it in the small box in the soil like the other uh, square in huh? the box and then on Friday they sell into the market okay every trust day they just call it all the rubber yeah. okay how are you feeling dude hot yeah Ah, nice. So guys, the Gunung Lusir National Park that we are walking in today is actually one of the most famous national parks here in Sumatra. I would even say probably in Indonesia. And if you haven't seen already, there's a new program on Netflix with Obama talking about some of the most beautiful places in the world. And there's an episode right here from Gunung Lusir. So if you want to see a more professional version of this place, you can catch it on Netflix. So this is the border right here, yeah? So now we're officially walking into Aada. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Gunung Leuser National Park. Wah, lihat ini guys. Ini seperti macet di Jakarta ya. <laughs> we haven't found any orangutans yet. But we're still looking. <laughs> I only found one orangutan. Oh, you've seen uh, planet apes? <laughs> <laughs> It has been raining last night, so when it's raining, the orangutans, they sit up on top of the trees and they hide a bit and they are trying to dry. And there's so many mosquitoes here, so if you come here, bring mosquito repellent. Mosquito, yes. All right, we got good news, guys. So, because the sun is coming out now, the orangutans is coming out to dry their hair and Idris, Idris, he already found some. So, now we're gonna go and see them. Oh, Chalanticus. Orangutan means man of the forest, and the Sumatran orangutan only exists here on the island of Sumatra. There are believed to be less than 14,000 Sumatran orangutans left, so they are a critically endangered species. And did you know that they share 97% of their DNA with humans? They are highly intelligent creatures, even more so than some of the tourists who visit this place, because one tourist was walking around with his backpack open, full of snacks and drinks. So with his up to two meter long legs, it quickly grabbed the backpack and found a delicious treat inside. This is why it's important to keep a good distance to the orangutans, both because we can infect them with diseases and because an orangutan can be dangerous if it feels threatened. An adult male is four times stronger than a human. Luckily, the orangutans knows the concept of a trade, so the rangers show them that they are interested in trading the Coca-Cola for the bananas. come here, please remember to follow the rangers guidelines and respect the orangutans, because after all, we are just guests visiting its home. And as we moved on, we got lucky and spotted a male drying in the sun. So how old is this tree? Around three, uh, 150 years this one, which is from the ring of the tree. But the other one, the biggest one than this, it is around 300 years old. Wow. 300 years old, eh? Yeah? It's like Tarzan. Wow, that is the biggest ant I've ever seen. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> <Shocking>. <laughs> 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 
it didn't hurt, but I got shot. Yeah, it didn't hurt, but I got shot. Is that a bite? Bite by the fem the male, by male. What? The big end. By male end? Yeah. What? Crazy. Very painful. Yeah. We did not meet the sun bear. We only saw its claws. But luckily we met plenty of other animals. What is the name of the turtle? Here we call a uh, giant turtle, like the baby, this one. Giant it's turtle? Cold. Yeah. It's cold? Yeah, it's cold. I'm feeding the turtle a banana. Two monkeys looking at each other. <laughs> This is a Thomas Leaf monkey. Thomas was the name of the guy who found, who originally found this monkey, and it's called Leaf because it eats the young leaves on the trees. And yeah, monkey because it is a magnet. Magnet, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Idris. Yeah. Ito. Sopratí. Ito. <laughs> Spring roll. Spring roll. Spring roll. Spring roll. Almost like he is as interested in looking at us as we are looking. Alright, after a seriously hot walk through the jungle, we now made it to the river. Now we're gonna take the tubes down the river, back to the Eco Lodge. I honestly could not think of a better way to go back to the hotel than in all my clothes and cold river water. Are ready, dude? I'm ready. So first part of the tubing tour here is that we pack all of our things together and then we go down the tubes. Well now they're just dragging us to the other side and then we're going down this way. Yeah. So this is our ferry. So we were supposed to sit there and there and then our luggage on each side. Are you glad, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Walking to jungle, neither anybody. Walking together, in bushy flower. Louder! Walking together, now. Walking together. Everything together in Bukilawa. Yeah. Jungle track, jungle track in See the monkey, see the bird, see the orangutan. Jungle track, jungle track in See the monkey, see the bird, see the orangutan. We even get a tour through the local village here as well. Every Saturday, every weekend, the locals they come here for a picnic and for tubing. Hello, De. Hello. 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 Open YouTube is it? This YouTube. Christian Hansen. Christian Hansen. Mas Chris. Christmas. <laughs> wow, cool. Mimosa, yeah? Mimosa, yeah. Have you seen this plant before? Never. Only in Avatar. When I still have <laughs> a friend often play this plant because uh, they are like uh, live, yeah? Yeah. Well, we are seeing a lot of things today for the first time. <laughs> and we are back at Eco Lodge. But our trip still had one more element of surprise. 
So what is this, bro? What kind of snake is this? This is my this first time seeing snake in Indonesia. Sumatran pit viper. Pit oh, viper. Sumatran yeah. pit viper, yeah? yeah. And it's right outside our hotel. Have you ever seen a wild snake before? Uh, no. Bahia, yeah? Bahia. This poison. What do you think, dude? Ah, it's crazy. Right? <laughs> nice. It's like, what you want? What you want? And after a long day, with a lot of new experiences, someone had gotten tired. The next day our plan was to get on the road, but it was going to be difficult. Morning. This morning it rained a lot. The road we have to get to, to get to the big roads, is seriously dangerous. We have to cross like a bridge and it's uh, slippery, small, and it swings. Like, I'm seriously nervous about that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Christian's promised me that uh, probably not gonna die. Uh, hopefully not. So, uh, it's just luck. You can see how much it rained. It's all brown now, the water. There's a lot of more water coming down. Fuck, I'm nervous uh, yeah. to drive in this condition. I'm a bit as well, but it looks like it's drying up a bit, so... Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. What I'm What Next time. Inception. Salam Kanal. So it's the day after the hike. How was yeah, yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday was incredible. It's rare to see all these animals we saw. The hike itself uh, was beautiful. Sometimes challenging, Christian Phil, that was great. Also, highlight all the time up in the national park. There was no trash anywhere to be seen. So it just, it's clean, it's nice. The people are nice, smiling, welcoming, and uh, the place is great. Through and through, just a great trip. Yeah, awesome too. So instead of taking any unnecessary risks, we decided to take a day off the schedule. Movie time! I like it. Alright like, like, guys, we have had a fantastic stay here at the Eco Lodge and now it's time to move on. So today we're driving to a place called Verastagi. So we're gonna be going through some mountain passes, some beautiful nature and we have two and a half hours, 81 kilometers, so I'm estimating today four and a half hours. So thank you so much to Magnus, I think I can go See you guys. Yeah. Idris? Yeah. See you bro. Okay. Take care. Thank you so much yeah. Yeah, for everything. Yeah. Alright dude, are you ready? Push power bremse. Hang. To war power bremse. So, that'll suck. Alright guys, time to go to the mud. Are you ready? Det kommer lige et lille stykke der, der bliver lidt svært. Pas på. Ja. Og pas på kviktrådet her. Ui, tag på. Uh. Se guys. Er du klar? Den her, den bliver ikke nær. Jeg kører videre, dude. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Good job. A new? <laughs> there you go. And he's up, ladies and gentlemen. Oi. That one is the Oi. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Woo. Ready? You okay, eh? Yeah. Do I get to spin both of them? That's all we have to do. I don't know. I don't 
Oh, there's a hex on there. Here we are. Fuck the annoying man. It looks yeah. rather harmless that bridge, but it's gonna be moving a lot. Okay. Hello, look you. ahead of us, we set our course towards Berastaki. Alright guys, we found this place called Cirulo Coffee and Resto. So basically, after the stop, we're gonna be continuing through the mountain pass to get to the other side, to Berastaki. But it's one o'clock now, so yeah, pretty good time to do a small lunch break. So what do you think, dude, about the views here? Are they better than they are at home? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot more mountains, definitely. Yeah. So, it's, nice, yeah. it's amazing. I'm looking forward to like, driving through the, uh, the mountain pass. So we have ordered some nasi goreng ayam, some estemani, some tempe goreng. Now we're just gonna stay here and chill for a bit and just enjoy the views. Enjoy the views. <laughs> Selamat makan. Enak. Enak ya. All right, guys, we are on our way up through the mountain pass. And we we're a bit excited to see just how steep these hills are. We had a fantastic lunch here at this little restaurant. And now it's time to go to Brestagi. First gear, dude. Salamat datang kap karo. Ah, nu vi på vej ned ad bjerget igen. Hallo. Oi, på se bjerget. Ai, nej nej, vi stopper her. Nice, ja. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> nice. There's just something magical about riding here. Overlooking an active volcano on two wheels. No worries except for potholes on the road and riding next to my little brother. It's no doubt the best ride I've ever had. and we are staying at and we are staying at a place called Mickey's Holiday Resort so we got super lucky they allowed us to park right outside otherwise we would normally have to park on the other side of the dude okay the other side of the road so we got super lucky so this is a five-star hotel I booked that because I thought we would be hell tired when we arrived. So let's go inside, check it out, and hopefully it's nice. And hopefully he calms the fuck down. What a good ride today. Yeah. Yeah. It's honestly really, really nice. It's only 600,000 per night. The food here was ah, so-so. But the new room is nice. Dude, how was today? <laughs> today was a good day. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maunas is really good at being video filmed. We are both quite tired. It's been a long day, but it was a good day. It was our last day on the road and time to head back to Meta, which went well besides a bit of back problems and a bit of creative driving. Due to Kurt Moser still alive. But I could see where Maunus got his inspiration from, because both buses and lorries here drive like they're playing GTA. Considering how challenging Indonesian traffic can be, Maunus had handled it like an absolute pro. Stack, dude. Dude, do I leave her in level up in trafficking? <laughs> trafficking is like the right here behind the man. Driving in mid and traffic. And we are back home! Time to unpack and then return Maunus' Royal Enfield. Yesterday someone asked you, what is the name of Maunus' motorcycle? Yeah, Susa? The Undertaker. Because it took you down three times? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's overhealing and it's under undertaking you. Ah. So how was it, dude? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed this motorcycle very much. If you haven't tried it before, we highly recommend it. It's a good bike. Of course, it doesn't beat Turanga, that's clear, but it's a great motorcycle. So last and final shout out to Sumatra Motor. Thank you so much guys for helping us. Without these guys, we wouldn't have had any motorcycle trip here. So we're very, very happy. Thank you so much. They say the time flies when you're having fun. And it was suddenly time for Maunus to pack again for his 25 hours trip back to Denmark. It had been the perfect vacation and the perfect break for me after many days alone on the road. All right, guys, it has been an incredible week here in Medan and in Bukilawang. Uh, really good vacation. Best. Best. Unfortunately, it is time for Maunus to go back to Denmark and for me to go to Aceh. So he's going to the airport now. I have to continue some editing and then we will see each other again in 200 something days. Yeah, Christmas time. Christmas time. Say goodbye, dude. Thank you. Thank you for watching and until next time. <laughs> and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. That was not easy. Uh, I haven't seen him in a very, very long time. And it's gonna be a while before I see him again. So, dude, when you're watching this, thank you for a fantastic vacation and uh, see you in Christmas. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed watching Maunus and myself exploring North Sumatra. I will see you guys soon in the next episode when going to Aceh. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye guys. Stay tuned guys for the next episode where I get back on the road on my way towards Central Aceh and Takinon. <laughs>